Kill one and another appears. Zombies, zombies, zombies. I'm getting sick and tired of this. You better stay alert or else you'll be sorry. Check out that zombie. What about it? <sighs> Amateur, that is my masterpiece. The fists of a dark karate master. The legs of the fastest demon in the netherworld. The brain of Mahogany, a famous sorcerer. The iron body of Hercules. And a horse wiener! All combined into one. The netherworld's ultimate zombie. What did you say? A horse wiener? Now, that's dangerous! Guys, don't let your guard down! <laughs> oh, that... That, my friends, is one of the reasons why people remember this chapter. <laughs> uh, and yes, yes, uh, can you not see what he has equipped? No, you can. Right there, on the top screen. He has a horse spinner. It is an item you can equip. And yes, that's right, we're gonna use the hand that we bought yesterday to grab that horse spinner out from right under this zombie. Or right in front of this zombie? Right behind this? I'm just gonna stop right there. Okay, now we don't want to fight these guys in these green geo panels. As you can see, they are pretty tough. Well, some of them at least. Level 26, you know, right there and right there. We don't want to deal with them right there. So hopefully, what we are going to do is grab Laharl right here and use him as bait. We're just gonna use him as bait. Defend. And hopefully these guys will start moving up. Yes, good. Okay. Now, he's gonna get peeked on, which is really the least of his worries. Because he has that, you know, zombie we Not zombie, you know, horse wiener to worry about. So yeah, let's just dunk on this zombie real quick. Let's get Silva. Uh, why did they say Silva? Silva and Flan, right out here. And doing a little hop, skip and a jump. And then nuking a zombie from orbit. So let's just do that. And that. Now we should probably level up our skulls a bit more so um, Flan can, you know, learn more more spells. I'm pretty sure they're masters, Flan, at least. I've, it's been so long I've actually forgotten. Um, Alright. Who's your master? Your mentor is Sova. Okay. So never mind, Soba will learn more spells and Flan will just be stuck like that and that's fine and everything. So yeah, he's not dead yet. So let's get Laharl here and just do a boulder crush. Here I come. Now I remember the stage being fairly, you know, not, not super difficult, but relatively difficult, you know, reasonably difficult. Especially in my practice file where everybody was like level 16, which is kind of bad and I do have less party members in the practice file because I just can't be bothered, you know, grinding. So I have, you know, the typical, you know, guys here. I don't have a magic knight or a archer and I'm stuck using hogmizer and arrows and they kind of suck. Kind of a bit too generous for them, but, you know. So let's just do ice again and everybody's ice skill is just gonna be way off the charts and I kind of don't want to use Megan right now because he needs to stay alive which is why I was ecstatic that he's at level 19 because that means he can survive a hit or two so let's just do mega ice you should deal a fair amount of damage actually here I'm curious to see how well you you're, you know you're gonna do here 
Yeah, they're level 26 and 23, but you should do fairly well. 126, 129. And this is a combo too, so this should absolutely destroy them. You should at least kill one of them. Does that make me a happy camper? Or you could just not kill them. Okay. Well, Lahal to the rescue, I guess. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I was trying to wrap my head around there because I thought that he had no levels, and wow. My voice suddenly became scratchy, so I'm just gonna grab a super attack here. Wow. I, I don't know what happened. But oh well. My voice is now back to normal, and I really wish I didn't have to use the hall there, but I did, and yeah, he grew up another level. Surprise, surprise. The hall is OP. Now we... You know what? I kind of want to send a bit of help over there, so let's get... I don't think Isabel would be able to do anything. Can you not do that? Okay. You are... She's one SP off. She is one SP off being able to do a really nice AoE attack, which would have been nice for these guys or those guys, and that makes me sad. Alright, that's just... Edna has a ton of SP now, so can she not learn anything? What's her mastery? I'm sorry I'm checking this in the middle of battle, but, um, well... Eh, who cares? I want to make sure that, well, my party, you know, does well. Which I think is kind of, a, you know, an important thing for your party to do well. Words! How can I words? Alright, I think that's it. I, I don't feel like moving anybody else out. Oh boy, here they come. I, I was hoping that, you know, the zombies would be kind of dumb, like they were two-ish episodes ago. So, you know, if you... But no, no. They're not being dumb. We don't have to aggro them for them to actually do anything. You know what? I don't like fear being there, so fear is just gonna move back into the base panel. Which is a good strategy to have, and not losing the whole privilege wrath. There we go. Can these zombies get here? Yeah, they can, sadly, but that's fine. Okay, let's see. Let's see how well the world's wrath does. It should. I don't think it'll kill them. I'm not comboing in the off chance that it does, but okay, that leaves them on super low. You know, health. So let's just get... Where's Fear? There's Fear yet again. And let's just... Do another Mega Ice. Because... Why the hell not? These two, they're getting all up in the grill of my... Mages, and I don't like that. That's not a very nice thing to do. So let's just... Not... Kill that one zombie. Wow. That was Mega Ice. His resistance either must be fairly high, or he just doesn't like ice. Anyway, um, enough enough of me failing to send out my words properly yet again. Let's just do S4, and let's see, let's see. Okay, let's get no, let's get Tim out here. Why the hell not? Let, let's let's try to deal as much damage as we can. And wow, I'm surprised height isn't being iffy there. So let's just do that. Nice amount of damage right there. Now, you know what? You know what? Can you finish him off with a trigger? Okay, now I want you to move all the way over here, because I don't think the zombies can reach over there. So we'll just wait for where is his face, Marcus, to get close, and then we shall nuke him from orbit. But not before stealing, well, his horse wiener. That, that's what I do every single LP. I try to get everything off of them, because they're actually fairly nice items. But the horse wiener is arguably... 
the best out of all of them because it's essentially a imperial seal, except better. You know, it's a dark. Isn't? I think the better version is a dark rosary. Yeah, so it's essentially a dark rosary, but better. So we kind of, we actually want that, surprisingly. Anyway. You know what, let's get... Let's, let's do this. Double... Let's get a double Skyland up in here. Oh, are you... Are, are you serious? Alright, can you do an Impaler then? Nice. So you have your movement is high enough. Alright, let's just do ice. Hopefully Flan will finish them off. Yes, I know I moved Flan away from the queue, but hey, let's see how well this goes. Now, another reason why we want that horse speeder is yes, because it because of the fact that it is a pretty good item and the fact that the guy who you know has it is level 27. That actually weakens him quite a bit. So yes, this is an item where which you kind of want to steal, or really any of the items he has. All of them are pretty good, and. You know, stealing them gives you an advantage. So just just steal the items off of him. Let's get Madera up in here. Um, there we go. Hopefully they are attracted to the vampire bait. Maybe they aren't. Maybe they don't like the taste of vampires. But here I am hoping that they do. So do we... Okay, we do. Good. So we have enough space there. Can we get... <sighs> Super clunky. Yeah, really? And she's moved, so we can't... Okay. I kind of don't... You know what? You know what? I know what? I know what to do. Let's just do a poison arrow, and you can't get a poison. Fine. 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 We're gonna use a completely overkill move that is probably gonna deal less damage because it's AoE. And that's generally how skills work, except spells, and that did any nothing because it was fire type move. And there we go. That's actually pretty good. Okay. Yeah. We still have that zombie to take care of, but oh yeah, they're also at um, the defense plus 100, so we kind of don't want to hold them off here. So let's let's hope they fall for the Madara spade. I really do. Okay, looks like they have fallen for the Madeira Spade. A bit. I should say Madeira Spade. You have to say Madeira in this accent. I have no idea what this accent is. But it is kind of like an Italian accent combined with a vampire accent. But hey, it is for Madeira. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that. Let's just... Let's have everybody huddle up in a square. And can the hall make it? No, he actually he can. Okay. Good, good, good. Let's get everybody surrounding Flan, because Flan wants lots of friends. And have her heal. This is I think it's roughly at this point where you want to stop your mages from actually nuking zombies and start you know, healing your party. Also, Espor is very, very handy. Thank you, Flan. It's not as good as a Mega Heal, but it's slightly better than a, well, normal heal. So, yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's have everybody move back to their position. Okay. Now, what do we want to do? Hopefully they fall for the Madeira Spade. Is that Marcus? Yes, it is. Okay. Hopefully they fall for the Madeira Spade some more. And let's get Lahal in here to... Okay, not do an Overlord's Wrath. Um, do a Skull Splitter and see where that gets you. Especially on this low HP guy. And we'll have Fier here to just finish off, you know, finish this guy off if he lives. But yeah, he'll live. He'll live, but not when fear is done with him. Good 
stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Let's get Megan back because he's just run away. Okay. Let's get Jesse up in here as well. And let's get a poison arrow because I don't think that we have enough room for a delta split. That's why you say I love delta split. It's a powerful move, but it's super, super iffy. I don't think we're gonna kill him with this, so yeah. Yeah. Could be better. He's poisoned, but I don't think the poison is gonna do enough damage to actually, you know, hurt him significantly. So let's just Okay. Do that. And let's get Maderas back in here, and let's bring out more bait. Let's get Hogmiser in here. We got pork. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Don't you zombies like pork? Because we got pork right there. Now, I don't think they're gonna fall for the Hogmiser bait because they're within range of, well, tastier targets, let's be honest here. Oh, I should have used Megan to finish him off. Because now, yeah, he's going for Isabel. As always, and oh, that is Marcus, I bet. Right there, who is wrecking us? And oh, yeah, people are way too spread out, and that zombie is dead, and so nobody gets the heal. So there's Marcus. Um, yeah, do another heal, Flan. You want to do another heal, and that zombie can very kindly go away. That'd be very nice. So, Lahal is gonna go here. Wow. Lahal is almost out of here. Wow, we've used up Lahal's SP. Okay, let's let's try to save SP here. And okay, you. Yeah, he isn't damaged that much, so it's not much of a loss, really. Let's here see. Okay, Boulder Crush, and then. Yeah. Please deal enough damage. <laughs> You didn't even use ice! You didn't even use ice. So yeah, that zombie is, you know, gonna get in on the healing party, but I'd rather have everybody healed up. Okay. Actually, poison arrow might do well here. Let's first get Megan up here. Now he can steal from two squares away, so let's just do that. And don't use a bastard sword, but use 27%. You can steal money, but we don't want money. We want the horse wiener. Now, too bad it isn't any sort of rarity, any of these. Because this is just a muscle item, and this is a equal to an orb, so yeah, the horse wiener is the best. Per se, I follow them, like I've said earlier, again. So let's let's try to steal that. And of course Megan fails. So let's just do an impaler. Let's move Actually, let's move it now over here. Because I know what I'm doing. That that's me lying. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Now, I mean we don't Okay, I know what to do. Get Maderas out of here. Sorry, Maderas out of here. And let's finish off that song. Or not. Actually, no, Fear can. Fear can move. Fear can move. Okay, good. Good, good. Let's get Maderas out of here. He still only owes Chaos Fire, so that isn't the best. So let's just do that. And what else can we do? We can ignore that zombie for now, or we can be cheeky. Take Bellatrix and our, our home panel is probably gonna die. Actually, have I shown this off? I don't think I have, but yeah, if you throw enemies to the home panel, you have a chance of capturing them if the levels of your, you know, home of the units left in your home panel is high enough. But since we have Hogmiser in there, I don't think we're gonna catch him, but it's it, it's to hopefully distract him. So let's just do that. I don't know, this is a terrible strategy. Yep, base panel. Oh. What? I thought it damaged them as well. Ah. 
Okay, well, shows how much I actually try to capture, you know, how much I actually try to capture enemies. So let's just do that. And you. How much is a tiger charge? Yeah, I think you need two or three. Two. Okay. So Flan, you move out of the way and surround Megan because we want to defend Megan. This is essentially the, the entire thing about this. This whole thing is defend Megan at all costs because he is the one going to be trying to steal the horse wiener the entire friggin' time. Oh boy. Okay, 168 damage. That's actually not bad. Oh, what? Okay. okay you can go there. You, we can still defend Megan here, okay? I, I have a plan, and it's a good plan. And that is defend Megan at all costs. For once, I actually want him to live! Okay, okay. Yep, oh, don't tell- okay, good, you're attacking those guys, those guys are a little bit of squishy, but... Yeah, I don't really care. Budaras got puked on, doesn't matter. Let's just, let's just keep on doing that, because I, I don't really, really kind of don't care <laughs> about Oh, that's bad. Um, Megan, please, please succeed. Please succeed. Yes, horse wiener get. All right, now I have no idea who to give the horse wiener to. I always traditionally give it to Laharl because I'm pretty sure it's slightly more powerful than the dark rosary he has right now. So. Yes, Lahal traditionally, whenever I play, gets the horse wiener. So let's just mega heal you, because we, we want you to, well, stay alive. Um, okay, Lahal can attack that zombie, right? Good, you can. Do a boulder crush, that just gives you more chances to attack. Etna can go over here and just... Do an impaler, because I don't think you can do anything else. Um, yeah, do an impaler. Okay. Yeah, an impaler. I was thinking we might be able to do a pinny raid, but I'd rather not, you know, risk it. Um, should you enter a counter war with that zombie? I don't think that's a wise idea, so you just defend. That's that's not boxing the minute all sides. Um, you attack Marcus. You yeah, yeah, this is a much, much better choice. And you attack Bellatrix. Don't. Okay. I think this is pretty, a pretty good setup. So, let's see. Let's see. I should have actually sent more units to attack the other guy than, you know, the ultimate zombie, but... Oh well. Oh well. Not bad. The hall is, like I said, pretty darn overpowered dealing 200 something odd damage, so there's that. That was more underwhelming, I'll be honest with you. But look at this, look at all the team attacks, that's why I wanted to put Jesse over there. And now? Really? Why? Why? Yeah, why? It's not my fault you got whacked in the face by a zombie. Now Maderas is gonna die because of the poison, and Thorn is gonna be 
dead. I, I was thinking she'd survive. I was hoping we'd actually get through this without anybody dying. Oh well, I guess. We have 185. That's pretty good, so we'll do that. Um, okay, Tim. This is where this is the um, you know obligatory Megan has died again part of the episode where I have to move Megan closer because I can't be bothered buying another. And I have an arm master, so that's pretty good. You also have... Yeah, this also has an arm master, so let's try using that. And let's try to get Mahogany's brain. Nope. Swing and a miss. Let's do that. We've, we've almost got this, guys. We've almost got this. Taylor. Yeah. Let's Here see. Yen Laharl dealing his 200, you know, 200 damage. Uh, we should, we should, we should have this in the bag. We should have this in the bag. Straight up. Straight up in the bag. And if not, then, then Megan gets to die. And it's a win-win for everyone, right? Come on, come on, don't you What? Out out of all of the times you decide to not attack You it was when finishing off an enemy. Hey guys The Magic Knight is great at finishing off enemies. I... Looks like Silva will be getting the experience for this one. I should really give Fieri a much, much better sword. Well, let's just do that. And we get one more chance to hopefully... Oh... This is gonna hurt for Isabel, I have to say. Or that hurt Tim more. And Madaris has died, which I don't hear. So... Wow! Wow, that, that's actually surprising. Isabel has a lot more defense than Tim. Okay, so... Come on, come on. We got the horse wiener. We want the other items as well. Let's get Mahogany's boot. No, alright, this guy is gonna die. He is... Deadlier than a doornail. Which is true, by the way. Ooh, that was good thing I caught that. I I selected ice there for a second. I I was about to click. That, that took me a while for my brain to process that I was going to murder Fier, which would have been a completely, completely terrible, horrible thing. And yeah, you you don't get the kill. Carl, I'm sorry, you're OP enough. And you... There you go, 177. So I guess Pierre can get the kill if she can not make it. Pierre, redeem yourself, okay? Unless you're out of SP, that's why you didn't do it. No, you have plenty of SP, okay. So, um, Pierre, redeem yourself, please, and finish off Makas. You know, do your job as a enemy finisher offer. Yeah. There you go. Good job, Pierre. Good job. You got a snake kidney too. Wow, talk about animal body parts. Here, I caught them all. So quit your complaining. What? What's the problem now? Thank you, Your Highness. Huh. Well, it is part of my job as the Overlord. And don't bother to thank me. If you want to show your gratitude, you can repay me with your body. Laharl. Laharl. Please. We've already had enough horse wiener jokes about this episode and... 
I traditionally give you the horse wiener, so please, Laharl, please. I never knew you were like that. <laughs> Idiot. I meant become my vassal and serve me when you're old enough. Yes, your highness. Speak to me with respect from now on, got it? Yes, Your Highness. <laughs> Did you hear that, Etna? That kid called me Your Highness. So, do you accept me as Overlord now? Well, you passed for the time being. But, be careful not to flunk out. Ugh! Why you? <laughs> Talk about strict! Still, Laharl has changed quite a bit since the first time I met him. He is maturing little by little as he meets new people. like I have changed, too, since meeting him and his companions. If you open your heart, you will surely grow and learn many new things. Whether you're an angel or a demon. If I can explain this to other angels, maybe they'll see that not all demons are evil. And someday... It turns out they were hiding a big secret! It wouldn't be a secret if it wasn't hidden, dude! When the Prinny's evil spirits join as one, they form Pringer X, the mighty super robot! Dude, we can't do that! Here goes! Pringer Spiral Plasma Top! Gotcha! Pringer Aurora Triangle Kick! This is it! Pringer Spinning Drill Attack! Uh, dude, hello? Lovely Mad Scientist Edna, Episode 8. Farewell, Pringer X. Dude, you're killing us all? Huh? No worries. Pringer X will be reborn as the more powerful Pringer Z. I'm telling you, it ain't gonna happen, dude. <laughs>